assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel today let's learn how to calculate painting area in Revit so let's go new so I will go to the architectural template it's okay so I will draw a wall let's draw a wall for 10 meter thousand 10,000 okay now this wall height is I will touch the, to the level top constraint so it's 4 meter okay now we know the area like the surface area will be 1 meter by uh, 10 meter by 4 that means 40 meter so if we have complicated too many walls like uh, one big buildings so let's draw more wall like this we have something like this like this like this and I say like this and we have some windows let's put any windows here 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 and here and here let's put some doors here here this is I am doing for the learning purpose now what is the area of the wall or well, how much plaster will go this is a little difficult to calculate so here if you click in the revit any wall what you are using go to the edit type structure edit and you add insert so this one has to go up and let's make this one 50 and this one I will make 100 okay so again insert this one will go down let's make this one also 50 okay you will see two layers are coming here so if you want to make wrap you can make wrap here uh, wrap both side exterior interior whatever you want you can use it but here I am not just going to use a wrap okay so let's make this one the upper one I will click this one so here I am going to make a new material create new material so rename wall material or wall paint exterior then graphic this I will use this color light brown let's go with this okay okay now this one apply okay so you will see this one then here I will make another paint create new material rename wall paint interior because the wall paint exterior is different than interior so here I will make magenta so let's make ok so you will see this one so let's click ok and ok <coughs> so if you go in the shading and you go we are fine so you will see here so this color we make for the exterior this color we make for interior you see here it's covering everything ok so here it's different this is exterior this is interior but this also interior so what I have to do I have to make edit duplicate so this one we make partition ok and edit so here I will choose wall paint interior ok ok 
so see this one different now now ma match this one to this one but there's a problem this one will be also change so in that case you have to slice sl here not here here then tr this one to here so align al so it's very easy now i can match this one to here now here you see this one all became inside so it's a problem if you click here you will see this rowing so it will go outside so this one has to be outside so the brown are exterior wall paint the rest are interior so this small piece why this one okay this one has to be outside so align okay now clear so now how we will take just go to the view schedule go for the material takeoff not schedule and quantity material takeoff go here wall and press ok so here you go down so here you see material area and material name so you can go up ok now press ok so you will see here the default wall is the walls length wall uh, area then wall paint exterior you will see same wall paint interior same so this is wall by wall so what we will do we will go to edit we will check the air filter uh, no sh yeah short in group and by area total we remove itemize okay so you will see here so there's a problem so edit again in the formatting material area you will select calculate totals okay still again problem edit I think the short in group I choose to material name and I'll remove this one okay okay now correct <coughs> so what happened the default wall is 294 wall paint exterior 228 wall paint interior 360 why more because this is 360 uh, because interior wall is uh, more than exterior okay so I have now area so you can either you can consider as a paint or plastering area it's a your choice so let's say we have 228 square meter if you go to the google just uh, type uh, wall paint calculator square meter so i choose the first one so here they have given one formula so 11 square meter per liter meaning one liter paint you can quote uh, 11 square meter area so this one they have given example 42 square meter so how much should be 4 liter right no less than 4 liter 11 22 33 44 should be so there's two square meter less but this one they are telling multiple by two quotes number of two quotes so it will be twice so if you want single coat 11 square meter one liter but if you go on to win if you want two coat 11 square meter will be two liter so it's depend how many coats uh, you want okay so what we will do we can calculate here 360 so let's go for the edit so we can go for the function and let's take material area so here we have to go for the function so let's select material area now go to the function first click this one so required 
paint okay so what we will do we will take this one material area space slash 11 okay so yeah 11 meaning if you divide the area by 11 so how many liter you will you want you will get it so press ok and ok so you will not get anything here so you have to go to the edit again for printing the required paint and here also you have to make calculate total ok so what will happen the painting area will be come automatically so if you draw here meaning another wall like a W partition I need partition wall so this one I will go to the I duplicated this partition so let's make another wall here so this one automatically what happened it will increase you see before before something else let's undo before 360 after the wall 409 so will be changed so what will happen if you want different code so you can go here edit so you can make a either new formula like uh, uh, how many you want or you can edit I think you can edit here star and by 2 I think it will work okay so it's working so it will do code you can do like this otherwise you can put field and make calculation so this is how we can calculate the paint so here I need to finish this default wall we don't need only we need the this two because this fold wall is in the center so we don't need this one to be here so you can do one thing go to the edit filter and uh, material name and does not equal to wall uh, no you can put default D E F A ULT so make ok what happened ah, it's already here so material name and not does it not equal to I have to make yeah that's not equal to. contents let's try contents so you can go does contains or you can go does not equal to maybe does not equal to default world just press ok ok now it's gone so only the paint is balanced so if you're making a new sheet let's say go to the new sheet view sheet so just make any sheet and uh, you will put this wall floor plan so let's take it here okay let's be this one here you can drag the schedule like this and put it somewhere here and you can change the heading wall material takeoff to the whatever you want so it's from here you have to change you can type wall paint finish schedule C H E D U L, and uh, you can check paint area and paint yeah this is enough record paint yeah this is okay so if you go in here you can see this one 
so I am not going to arrange this one just I want to show how to show here okay now you will you have got the idea so like this we can calculate entire building how much paint we need or at the same time how much plaster work area we have also the same way nothing different also you can calculate the tile uh, which area you want to make tile example let's go level let's say oh, you are tiling this area meaning this area so you need how much square meter you are going to make tile work different only small thing you have to do instead of paint I have make here paint in the material you have will make a tiling area tile finish that's all so it's very easy taking a tile calculating the plaster and calculate the paint everything same way but you have to arrange the material huh? and just use your imagination make your work easier so if you are not subscribed in my channel subscribe so we can learn together and if you have any comments let me know I try to fix it and then the last maybe you are thinking let's say the exterior exterior point 228 if you remove the door some people think maybe it's not calculating the cut of the door so remember 228 this is 228 so if I delete this door you will see it will change here 230 that meaning it is ignoring the opening of the door so it is accurate okay so let's see in our next video until then take care bye assalamu alaikum